Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to follow Winnie Harlow's after party beauty look. Winnie Harlow is a model. I'll put a picture over here. That's her. And I thought, let's try something different. I got the idea from Soph. So I thought, why not give that a try and see how it comes out. I don't have the same products she uses. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. But I'm gonna try and do ev like everything she says and try to follow her routine. So let's get straight into it. Then I go in with my brows. So I really- Okay, so in the start of the video, she does her skincare routine. But I don't think she primes. I think she just uses moisturizer. Um, really like bushy brows. So I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and then I'll start with my brows. I'm like obsessed with anyone who has really thick, full, bushy brows. I wish mine were fuller. We don't have to wish for it, we can draw them in. <laughs> I got my eyebrows done the first. So with my brows, they're quite thick anyway. And I've not had them done in like ages, so I guess that works to my favour today. But she said that she conceals her brows. That's something I don't really do unless I'm going in with eyeshadow. I don't ever conceal my eyebrows. Just because if they're done, I don't need to conceal them. And when they're not done, I don't pay attention to my eyebrows as much. In my makeup routine, if I didn't put eyebrows on, I'm not like, oh my god, I'm not got my eyebrows on. Whereas if I don't have mascara on, we've got a problem. This Becca concealer, I love it because it's really thick and it's very, very like pigmented. Okay, so I don't have the Becca concealer, but she said thick and pigmented. So I've got the Makeup Revolution Cream Contour Palette. So I'm just gonna cut out and carve my eyebrows with that. I know you guys see sometimes I cover the vitiligo on my eyelids. My vitiligo is pretty symmetrical, but on my eyes, you can see it's not exact. So if I was to do like I'm doing today, a red eye and I put it right here and I put it right here, it's not gonna be even. This is gonna be a fire engine red and this is gonna be like a burgundy. So in order to create a nice eye look, like everyone else, I create a canvas with concealer. It's not a big deal, guys. We don't have to make a big fuss out of it. I am going to cover my eyelids. I feel like everyone has like a really high expectation. That's one eyelid done. I'm gonna go finish this for eye and then I'll be right back. So I've just gone and primed the other eyelid and carved my eyebrows, which feels really weird because I don't do it like this. I feel like a lot of people ask me like, do you even wear foundation? Like, do you even wear makeup? And I'm like, sis, <laughs> I beat the face. I put on a lot of makeup. So now we have She's a so pretty sponge. Done. I'm going to go on top with... Okay, so she takes a sponge. So she gets her beauty blender. That makes it look so much more like blended on my eyelid so love that this mask pro longwear paint pot and it's kind of like a concealer but not i feel like and i'm gonna get a lot of product on here oh a lot of product, oh, lot of product. and i'm gonna go ahead and dab that on top i use this because i really want the makeup to stay okay guys i'm really excited for this part right here Okay, a lot of product. I think I picked up a little bit too much. Why doesn't mine look as good as hers? Like, why is my eye looking like this? <laughs> hers looks so nice and like blended and beautiful. Like, why doesn't she look crazy? <laughs> when I get this off, I'm gonna see what she does next. The eyeshadow, and today I'll be using my palette with Kim. KKW Beauty times Winnie. Oh my god, look at it! Look at it! 
I'm gonna go into this KKW times Winnie palette and I'm going to take this. So I don't have that palette. I've got the James Charles palette, which has literally every shade that she uses in it, I think. She sort of goes in with this sort of shade, which is Punch Me, and she sort of just puts it in her crease. Next, I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty, this orange palette, and I'm going to go in to this orange right here. Okay, so she goes in with the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession palette. I don't have that palette, but she goes in with this sort of shade, which is 518 in the James Charles palette. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into that orange and I'm going to mix it with that orange. I'm going to mix 518 and Cold James to just sort of get a sort of mix of what she's done. Okay, pigment. Now. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Hers looks a bit darker than mine, but I don't know whether that's just because of our base. So. I might just deepen this up further with a shade 10% off, just ever so slightly, just to make it look a bit nicer. I think that's the closest I'm going to get. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great, but... This beautiful red color from, oh my gosh, I almost said Kim's palette, from mine and Kim's palette, I can't believe it. And I'm gonna go in with like a more flat-ish brush. I'm gonna pack this onto my lid. Oh yeah. Okay, so she goes in with a really like deep burgundy shade and packs it on a full lid. I'm gonna go in with Boutique from the James Charles palette. That is the closest. Like, just look at the pigment on that shade when I stamp it on. Oh, yes. I feel like this is what everybody came for, really. Um, <laughs> I get a lot of questions about how I do my foundation. Oh, how shoot. Foundation She's already moving on to foundation. So many different questions about my skin. Let me tell you, I use no foundation on my vitiligo. I just don't feel like it needs it. I don't get like dark marks or anything like that on my vitiligo, Fair so enough. it's fine. What I do for foundation is mix these two to make me. And then I'm going to take this darker one and put it on my forehead and basically where I would contour because I don't really contour. I kind of like reverse contour. I learned that term from Jackie Aina on YouTube, but I was always doing it, I just didn't know it had a name. Okay, so she reverse contours, like Jackie Aina says, um, but she uses a brush, it's also a real technique brush, but she uses a brush to blend out her foundation, which I rarely do, like, this is gonna be fun. So I've got two foundations here. The Hourglastic Foundation in the shade Golden and the NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation in the shade Taupe. And then a darker foundation on her forehead. on my face but I'm just gonna go with it and hope for the best definitely too much foundation but I mean that blends to a really nice match I 
really actually do like the mix of those foundations. I'm going to take that same MAC paint pot and I'm going to conceal this brown line. But I'm going to go in with the paint pot and conceal under my eyes to get ready to put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I want to make that like an orangey color to smoke out and again you can't see it if right here is dark okay, so she starts with the light orange i'm going to run that under my eye so she then goes in with concealer um she takes the shade caramel i don't know what concealer she's using to be honest she doesn't really say then i go in with custard which is way too I think it's um, the Laura Mercier one. That's what it looks like, but I'm not sure. So she goes in with two. She goes in with the one that's closest to her shade first. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in Golden Beige. And then she just picked up a line. And then knock her fan. I never go in this heavy with concealer, so even this much is like, a lot and then she goes in with a lighter concealer and I'm gonna go in with the Jouer essential high coverage concealer because I think this is okay maybe it's not that like compared to my normal one but it's too light but I just use a little bit just to brighten up I've literally just used the tiniest bit the famous contour face she blends that out with a beauty blender so i'm gonna do that this is a lot of concealer i never use this much i mean it looks pretty oh but she's oh sugars because she's already put eyeshadow underneath her eyelids which is oh shit I completely forgot about that Just remember that we've got eyeshadow under the side not touch that wow this is really hard a little bit of this caramel right here because I also, if I didn't have it a Lego, around my mouth would be much darker than the rest of my face. As you can see right here, it's a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna even that out. All right, and now we bake. Okay, she baked. I don't bake. I feel like it makes my skin look super dry and... I don't really bake for very long Thank because God. I don't want like that white cast look, which is also why I try to do my eyeshadow first so I can really just like put it on and take it off. And this is the only time I really put makeup on the white skin. I bake around my mouth. And I do that because I don't want around my mouth to be super shiny and the rest of my face be matte, so. Ooh, what do you guys think about this look? Is that the look? Oh, she literally puts it on and I don't wear my hair out often because I don't like... Thank goodness for that, because... Baking is not for me. She's then going back in with her eyeshadow. So with lashes, I feel like everyone's so scared to use them. Ah, uh, she's going to be giving lashes too quick, too quick, too quick. Okay, so she's then going in with lashes. She's going in with some like really fluffy. They're actually really nice. Um, probably don't have them either, but I'm gonna go in with winked lashes in the style wing. Um, they're so pretty. Like, I had to chop them down, which is probably why it looks a mess in this. On your eyelids such pretty lashes also you can use this code when you buy your 
pretty little lashes from Winked. They're very long, but because they're not as chunky at the root of the lash, it doesn't look like your on your lashes. I'll just spray my face. Warm up my skin. Okay, so she's just set her face with setting spray. She used a Fix Plus, but I couldn't bother to go and get the Fix Plus, so I'm just going to use the Morphe Continuous Mist. Whew. Smells so good. With this mineralized skin finish. Okay, so she's bronzing her face. Ooh, I also like to warm up with this Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. I'm gonna go on top of that. Okay, so this is like my favorite bronzer ever. It's, I contour and bronze together. I don't contour and then bronze. I don't have time for that. But this shade is so pretty. I wanted to be chocolate girl friendly. So I made this beautiful golden, bronzy highlight and this like iridescent almost pink and then i'm gonna go in with that top shade okay she's highlighting already so the highlighter she's using she says it's like an iridescent pink sort of shade so i've got the morphe highlight in the shade spark and i mean that's pink ish and she just takes her finger and Highlight my nose. So for my signature, okay, she she also contours her nose. Contouring my nose is another thing I don't really do. Like one because I don't know how to, and two because if I do it, I feel like I'm just gonna look stupid. I either use Chestnut by Mac or I use Foxy. She didn't highlight her face. Okay, she says she uses Chestnut by MAC or... Brown by Charlotte Tilbury. Something brown by Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the Chestnut MAC, so I'm gonna go grab that. So I'm back with a lip combo that she doesn't use, but it's kind of similar. So she uses a lip liner first. Then I take this Charlotte Tilbury super pigmented gloss and I use this I'll either use this or a lipstick, but I use this to kind of blend the color of the liner. She then takes a gloss and uses it all over. And um, I don't have a gloss that shade, but I've got the Soap Lip Bullet Lipstick in the shade Syrup, which is not a matte finish. And then last but not least, mascara. When it comes to putting mascara on your top lash, when you have lashes on, it's more important to get them on your actual own. So thank you for watching. Bye. Wow, that was so different. So this, I guess, is the finished look. I love the eye makeup. Like, and the lips actually, like, I never do my lipstick like this, where it's super dark on the outside and then a lot lighter on the inside. But I'm kind of living for it. And it makes your lips look a lot like more. Kind of shook that she, that she didn't use highlight. But I guess she didn't, I don't think she really powdered her full face unless I missed it. But the foundation gives a really nice sheen anyway. There's no inner corner highlight. There's no eyeliner, there's no blush. And I kind of started to like blush recently. But yeah, like, I like how my eyebrows have come out too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow my socials, I'll put them over here. Somewhere so you can follow them. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. More challenge videos with my sister. More of these kind of makeup looks. More of just me doing my own makeup and I'll try my best to make it happen. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another one.